Don't you like to watch videos? Yes. Aren't you Ronnie? No. Yes. I don't know. Today I'm going to teach you about something. It's really been bothering me for the last, I don't know, six years. It is <clears throat> negative questions in English. The reason why this bothers me is because it's taken me so long to figure out how to teach it to you properly and how we as native speakers actually handle these questions. First of all, let's go through some examples of negative questions. First one, don't you like pizza? So you can ask someone, don't you like pizza? <clears throat> yes. Yes, you don't like pizza or yes, you like pizza. Yes, I like pizza. So why didn't you say no? No, I don't like pizza. But you don't like pizza. Do you see my confusion? You must be confused. Let's look at this question. <clears throat> Aren't you hungry? No. No, I'm not hungry. Oh, okay, good. Yes. Aren't you hungry? Yes. Aren't you hungry? Yes. Aren't you hungry? Yes. I don't know if you're hungry or not. Um, can't you play football? No. No, you can't play football, or yes, you can play football. I am still baffled, which means confused, about if someone asks me a negative question, if I give them a yes or no answer, the answer is still unclear. So, why would someone ask you a negative question? Why would you ask someone a negative question? This answer I can do for you. <clears throat> Most people like pizza. Do you like pizza? Yes, I like pizza. Good. Do you like pizza? No. <gasps> you don't like pizza? I am surprised by your no answer. So, the easiest way and the best way Maybe the only way that I can help you with this is we would only ask a negative question if, at first, you asked a positive question and were surprised by the answer. Let's write this down. Positive question. <clears throat> Do you like pizza? No! You gotta do the face too. You don't like pizza? Surprise? No. I don't like pizza because um, I don't like red things. Okay, whatever. To help you with this negative answer, what you have to do is you have to give the person more than a yes or a no. Example two. <clears throat> if I asked you like this, are you hungry? And you said no. You have not eaten breakfast or lunch. Aren't you hungry? No, I'm not hungry. Again, you're going to say the rest of the sentence. No, I'm not hungry. We would only use this negative question if our first question is a no, and if the answer is a surprise to you. If you're from Brazil, hi. Can't you play football? You're from Brazil. Every person in Brazil can play football. No, they can't. That's not true. But someone can ask you, 
you're from Brazil, you can't play football? And you say, yes, no. You can say, yes, I can play football. Or you can say, no, I can't play football. There is a way to answer this. And unfortunately, you are going to have to use um, more than a yes or no answer. <clears throat> so, maybe the best advice I can give you when you're beginning or when you're practicing English is don't ask negative questions. Only ask a negative question if you are surprised by the person's answer, okay? If someone asks you a negative question and you definitely know your opinion, to get the answer out clearly, what you have to do is justify. If you want to say no, you have to repeat, no, I do like it. No, I don't like it. Yes, I like it. Yes, I don't like it, which doesn't make sense. So what you have to do is either say yes or no, and then give the positive or the negative answer. Don't you want to take a quiz? Of course I want to take a quiz, Ronnie. Perfect answer. Don't you want to get 100% on the quiz? No. What? No. I do want to get 100%. Go to ingvid.com, take the quiz. Bye.